Uh, now, the internet provider TalkTalk is rolling out a new scheme, giving UK job seekers free broadband. The initiative, which is backed by the government, has come about as recruitment processes and training have moved online due to the pandemic. Job seekers will be offered a six-month voucher for unlimited use of the internet. Let's have a look at today's papers, shall we? The fuel problems feature on almost all of the front pages this morning. Many reporting that the army could be used to deliver supplies to petrol stations. The Guardian saying that hundreds of soldiers could be called upon following panic buying across the country. Uh, the Daily Mirror labels the petrol pump chaos a shambles and suggests the fuel delivery shortage could last for 10 days. Daily Telegraph has more details on the plan, known as Operation Escalin, which would see the government's reserve fleet of petrol tankers released. The paper adds that between 1,500 and 2,000 filling stations are estimated to have run out of at least one type of fuel. Uh, the Times reports that senior government sources suggest it could take two weeks before temporary visas are issued to foreign HGV drivers. This is as a result, uh, the paper says it is highly likely the army will start work on fuel deliveries in the next few days, which is what we're talking about this morning yeah, as well. Yeah, all of that coming up. Uh, one little story from inside the papers. This is really mad because oh, we're yeah. talking about a story which is strictly which you're in. I know, it's very weird, isn't it? It is a bit strange, isn't it? At least um, you've got some insight. Yeah, this is, so... this is Tom and Amy who um, tested positive. Just to let you know, essentially, everybody who works on the entire production gets tested every week. And uh, sadly, Tom and Amy both tested positive for um, coronavirus. So they'll be... Um, but that was isolated. them dancing Saturday night. Yeah, so they, they found that Feeling result, okay. Think, late Saturday, early Sunday. So, And now they go and they spend 10 days in isolation. So the pair of them miss no. next week. And then hopefully they'll come back, you know, uh, the the week after that. And uh, lots of people are thought, you know, what's it like uh, working on that program and and how how the sort of the regulations work. I'll be totally honest with you. It's the most sort of strict environment that I've been in in the last few months. Wow. And and Tom and Amy are probably of all the couples. I mean, everyone takes great care. They take more care than anybody else. You know, Amy's got Crohn's disease, so yeah. she's really careful about her social distancing. I had a chat with her on Saturday, and she was at one, the end of one flight of stairs. I was at the other. We were both wearing face coverings. Um, you know, like I say, everyone's tested every single week. And there is great care taken. Every single member of the production team wears a face covering the entire time. The only time that we don't wear face coverings is when we're on telly, like on set. And social distancing, they're really keen on making sure that, you know, when you're crossing corridors, one person goes to one side and in, in, in the studio area, everybody is really careful. I mean, there are great measures taken in the sort of touchy-feely world of TV to make sure that, that that social distancing is maintained. Because the most important thing, as we saw from Saturday night, for everybody involved, mm. is that the show keeps going because it is just joyful, isn't yeah, it? It's, it is it was lovely, brilliant. It was lovely to be a part of it. And, I and never so knew you could everybody... sing well, as well as dance. <laughs> I just, I just, I said to, I said to Nadia, I was just going to go for it. Uh...